Hello KLS crew and welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. In this video we will be looking at the week 7 challenges for season 8. Before we start, please note that obviously my voice is a robotic voice that was sampled from a text to speech software, so there may be mispronunciations or spelling errors. Please try to ignore them. You can now put challenges as your party assists so if you struggle with one, you can complete it with other players in your lobby. Let's start by looking at an overview of the challenges before we go into the details. There are three challenges you can do if you don't have the paid battle pass. The first challenge of the three unpaid battle pass challenges is, deal 100 damage with a pickaxe to opponents and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The second challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage is, Visit Junk Junction and the block in a single match and is worth 1 battle star or 100 XP if you are at tier 100. The second stage for the second challenge is, Visit Pleasant Park and Dusty Divot in a single match and is worth 2 battle stars or 200 XP. And the final stage for the second challenge is, Visit Happy Hamlet and Snobby Shores in a single match and is worth 2 battle stars or 200 XP. The third challenge is, Visit 3 pirate camps in a single match and is worth 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. The next 4 challenges can only be done by players who have bought the paid battle pass. The fourth challenge is, deal 500 damage to players from above and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The fifth challenge is, Search 7 chests at Loot Lake or Snobby Shores and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The sixth challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage is, deal 1 damage to opposing players while riding a zipline and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP if you are at tier 100. The final stage for the sixth challenge is, Deal 1 damage to opposing players who are riding a zipline and is worth 5 battle stars or 500 XP. The seventh and final challenge is, eliminate 5 opponents in different named locations and is with 10 battle stars or 1000 XP if you are at tier 100. And if you complete all that, and every other previous weeks, you can unlock a secret battle star or secret banner. This week it's a secret battle star and the location of the battle star will be revealed in the details. Now let's go into the details of the challenges for this week. The first challenge is, deal 100 damage with a pickaxe to opponents and if you deal enough damage you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. This challenge might take you a few games to get it done as it isn't the easiest but there are two things you can do to make it a bit easier. The first thing you could do is land at tilted towers or land somewhere that will have a lot of people and land at the same building as them and hit them with your pickaxe. Or you could wait until you are kicked out the battle bus as there may be some AFK people that you could hit. The second challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage is, visit Junk Junction and the block in a single match and if you visit those locations you can get 1 battle star or 100 XP. You could end at Junk Junction and then walk over to the racetrack in between these locations so you can drive to the block to make it a bit faster. The second stage for the second challenge is, visit Pleasant Park and Dusty Divot in a single match and if you visit those locations, you can get 2 battle stars or 200 XP. For this one, land at Dusty Divot and if you look east of the depots, you will find some drift boards or quad crashers which you can easily use to quickly get over to Pleasant Park. The final stage for the second challenge is, visit Happy Hamlet and Snobby Shores in a single match and if you visit those locations you can get a final 2 battle stars or 200 XP. For this challenge go to the race track that was a challenge last week just northwest of Happy Hamlet and you can get a baller and quite easily get over to Snobby Shores. The third challenge is, Visit 3 pirate camps in a single match and if you visit enough of them you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. The locations of the pirate camps are in the following pictures. Southwest of the volcano. Southeast of the block.
on top of the mountain northwest of Fatal Fields. Southwest of Tilted Towers. Northwest of Dusty Divot. Across the bridge northwest of Paradise Palms. And the final location is southwest of Pleasant Park. Team Rumble would be a good game mode as not many people land there. Also the pirate camps have a chance to have a vehicle at the bottom of it so be sure to double check to see if there is a vehicle there. The easiest three to go to would probably be the one southeast of the block, southwest of the volcano and northwest of Dusty Divot. The fourth challenge is, deal 500 damage to players from above and if you deal enough damage you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. This challenge means that you need to deal damage when you are above them. Team Rumbay would also be a good game mode for this as well and you can get lots of mats and there are many people there so you can just build on top of a mountain and just get some damage and if you get killed, you can easily try again. The fifth challenge is, Search chests at Loot Lake or Snobby Shores and if you search in Oao chests you can get 5 battle stars or 500 XP. You should go to Loot Lake as there is a lot more chests. If you go to the center, you could get up to 3 chests in the same game. There are also a lot of chests around the edges and on the rocks so just explore around Loot Lake and you are likely to come across at least one chest. The sixth challenge is a stage challenge and the first stage is, deal damage to opposing players while riding a zipline and if you deal enough damage you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 xp. This map shows you the locations of the ziplines and as you can see, there is quite a lot of ziplines in the snow biome or the jungle biome. Once you are on the zipline, you can just go back and forth while shooting your opponents. Make sure you have a long ranged weapon like an assault rifle as this would be easier to get kills. The second stage for the sixth challenge is, deal damage to opposing players who are riding a zipline. For this one you could just camp by a zipline and wait for someone to go on it or try to get people's attention and bring them over to a zipline. This challenge is sort of based on luck. The final challenge for week 7 is, eliminate 5 opponents in different named locations and if you get all the eliminations you can get 10 battle stars or 1000 XP. Don't really worry about this one as it is very easy. Simply just land at different named locations every time and get at least one kill in every location you go to. And if you complete all that, there is a secret battle star to unlock this week. The location of said battle star is on top of the wooden rabbit north of Snobby Shores. And that is all the challenges for week 7. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy or this guide helped you with your weekly challenge, be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also feel free to leave a comment and we will read all of them. Also, we are desperate to do other videos like compilations so if you want your Fortnite clips in one of our videos then check the description on how to do it. Turn notifications on as we upload these videos every week. Once again, thanks for watching. Bye.